I really like line work. So I do a lot of line work. And I enjoy burning. Wood burning the design into the gourd because the, the smell is so earthy. Pretty much every gourd that I do, the design is burnt in, pyro engraved. I wasn't really much of an artist before I discovered gourds, about 22 years ago. And I was fascinated when I learned about gourds for the first time. I was really excited to go through the whole process, which takes all four seasons. So I planted the seeds the spring outside my back door, and these magnificent fruits started growing on a vine. And then in the fall, they start to dry and harden, and they do that through the winter. And in the spring, I scrub them and clean them because they get all black and moldy. But the beauty is, when they go through that process, all that molding and drying leaves beautiful markings on each gourd, and everyone is unique in that sense. Then it's time to start to create. With the way you cut it and follow some of those patterns and where you put the design can make a huge difference too. And sometimes they just want to be what they want to be. Because they're not all perfect and symmetrical. Sometimes they lean a little this way or flat on one side. And so you just work with what the gourd has to offer. So when Janine takes a gourd, there's already that essence infused in it. She's just working with the power that's already there. That's why there's so much respect for it. It comes from the spirit world to the physical world, and it's given to us. So it's always a gift. I usually paint them with acrylic paints. And I use different ink dyes and set those in as well to get nice, vibrant. I use paint brushes mainly. I also have little fine tipped, kind of foam tipped paint brushes that are really fine. And that's more for the ink dyes. I really love her use of color. I use a lot of red. I use a lot of blue. I really like copper. I have a few different copper colors. I like to bright contrasting colors together. Colors that you wouldn't really think to put together. They just work really well and they play off of each other. My ideas mostly come from my culture, my community, stories. Our pictographs is another source of inspiration for the art that I create. So it tells her right away what its story is through her. Gourds weren't really utilized by my people. And so I try to honor that by including our traditional plants and the animals that are really important to us in the artwork that I do. Her work doesn't just look like she's putting nature on to something. It comes throughout that connection to the land. Our connection to the animals, the water. All of those things is expressed in her artwork. 
So she's always creating something. So every time I come over, she's usually in her workroom, and she goes, oh, come look what I did last night. Like the salmon isn't the whole salmon, it's the spirit of the salmon. So it shows the bones, it shows what's inside. Oftentimes I'll incorporate pictograph designs into the roots of trees because that's the substance of who we are. It comes from our roots, our grounding is here in this land and in the soil. a gallery show that she creates something special for that has a theme then we do a lot of research into what we can put in there that will bring that story to life. When we were talking about the retail product that should be sold in the new Kelowna Visitor Centre, we thought it was very important to be able to tell the Indigenous perspective as well and that's when we were connected with uh, Janine and her beautiful gourds. They're a positive connection back to the Indigenous story of the Okanagan people and West Bank First Nation. A lot of First Nation stories were oral stories. And so kind of finding the best way to bring that into a visual form has been a really amazing journey. Through honoring the gourd, it's taking what's already there and just adding a bit of who I am to that. And I get so much back from what the gourds have to offer as well.